Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabolski. Welcome back to EA Sports. Well, it's been anything but home ice advantage here, but they'll try to close things out with a W here tonight. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The checkers win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. And he slides it quickly to Portland. Love save, and just enough of it. Shepard's been consistent all season long. I mean, his team's in the winning column. His save percentage is up, and he's a real reason why they have a chance in every game. Takes the puck. Can't make the play, and the puck leaves the zone. Receives the pass. Locked him in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Moves it quickly over to Ludwig. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Ludwig's going to play it against the half wall. Takes the feed. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. That's a massive miss, James. You're in prime time scoring area in the middle of the ice. You go that far wide, that's a tough one. Denies him again. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. The Bears played along the wing. Back to the point it goes. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The checkers will play it in their own end. Dishes it to sort it. The Bears gain control of the puck. Quick pass to Starbosa. And that play's broken up. To the front! Shepard's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The game is still scoreless. The Bears win the draw on their own end. Pass across to McElrath. Slides the puck over to Vecchioni. Quick shot, and he puts that one aside with ease. There's another great save. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Here's a short pass to Johansson. Way too much congestion blocks that. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And he takes the feed. The checkers cross the line and gain the zone. Charlotte's got the puck against the boards. The checkers will play it from the corner. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, what a great save by Shepard. Tries to get it over to McElrath. Gains the zone from the right side. Rejected by the blocker. And he takes a shot. Stops This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Bears finally break through here in period number one. Well, it's so important to drop one. It gives you confidence to recognize, hey, we can score on this goaltender. And you take that energy and you head to the dressing room for intermission. You get so much needed rest and you got to come out flying in the second. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Hershey's got the one goal lead after 20 minutes of play, James, because they're putting the puck to the net. You get the majority of shots, chances are they're going to go in eventually. Slides the puck down low. Quick feed to Ness. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove.
glove save. Taken by Carlson. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Into the offensive zone. From the place 99 made famous. Let's the wrister go. The Bears win the faceoff. Moves it over to Scarbosa. And that one's turned away. The checkers scoop it up along the boards. Charlotte's got the puck in the defensive end. He got all of that hit on the play. Picks up the puck in his own end. The checkers go to work on offense. Looks to set up at the point now. Turn that one aside. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And that's off a stick. Hammers it on net. More tremendous reflexes with the glove by Cormier. Feeds the puck to Giles. Grabs control of it on the point. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Scarbosa's hooping in on the attack. And that's taken by the defense. The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Giles. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Picked up along the boards by Sordiff. Set after the puck goes up and out of play. Here in the back half of this period, it's all tied up. The Bears win the defensive zone faceoff. Close, but not close enough. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Rowe. Hershey's got the puck in the corner. And now it's grabbed by Gage. Takes a shot. Oh, goodness, what a save by Cormier. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. He's really turned it up a notch now. Shepard's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Here we go. Period number three. Who wants it more? We are still tied. The checkers gain possession along the wall. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Shepard. Passes it over to Ness. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger.
The Bears have it now. And he lowers the boom there. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Fires it. And then carries right off the mask. The checkers will play it from the defensive zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Here's a rock and a shot. Made the save on the play. Takes the shot. Oh, foul. Stops the game. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear. And they have done that here. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. And he loses control here. The Bears are in transition. Moves it quickly over to LaPierre. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. The Bears have found the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum, and you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. Charlotte's got the puck. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Sutter. And he takes the pass. Comes up with the stop. The Bears gain possession. Here's a chance in front. And that's intercepted. You gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Charlotte's got it across the line. Sends it in deep. The Bears have it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Iorio. Quick pass to McMichael. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. Takes a shot. Denies him. What a play defensively to get in front of that one. Right in the slot and it goes just wide. Now it goes wide, but the puck is finding him. James is getting to the right place at the right time. If he continues these habits, one is going to convert. Clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder. Torsi and Blair. Scores into the empty net. And Pounder, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Listen, I was on the back end. I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out. <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James. And that's just a, a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice. And hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. The Bears get a hold of the puck off the draw. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Well, here was a game that went back and forth. And you know, when you're winning, you find ways to win these types of games. But when you're losing, the streak continues here, Pounder. Yeah, it really does. And for the coaching staff, they're going to go into the room and they're going to try and draw some positives from it. But I'm telling you, the team doesn't want to hear it because at the end of the day, it's still a loss. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.